If you're setting up a smart home, one of the best investments you can do is to get a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system to be the backbone of your wireless network. Hi everybody, it's Andy Barrar, aka Handy Andy, your DIY tech guy. And today we're doing a review of the Eero 6 and the Eero Pro 6 Wi-Fi systems. Now, Eero is an Amazon company, so they know a thing or two about making smart home products and now they want to provide the Wi-Fi in your home. So being a Wi-Fi 6 you know, product, this is really an investment to future-proof your home for the future as all these new wireless devices are going to support the new Wi-Fi 6 standard. So let's begin this review by looking at the unboxing. When you take out the Eero 6 and the Eero Pro 6 for the first time, you'll notice that you get three satellites because these are a three-pack. Now, when you look at them beside each other, you can see a big difference in the size between the Eero 6 and the Eero Pro 6. When you turn it around, you'll start to notice some differences with the Eero 6 and the Eero Pro 6. Namely, the Eero Pro 6, they're all three identical satellites, meaning you're gonna have two ethernet ports on the back, as well as a USB-C port for the power adapter. Now, on the Eero 6, what you'll notice is that you have one satellite looks different from the other two. And that one is the one that you would connect to your modem. And you can see that one because it has the two ethernet ports on the back. Whereas the other two satellites just have the USB-C to power them. So that's one of the differences. If you have a lot of ethernet ports, you know, you're probably gonna want to get the higher version, the Eero Pro 6. Now the setup process for both systems is super easy. It's all done on the Eero app. In fact, if you're going to screw this setup up, it's probably because you didn't power cycle your modem. And I think that's the only spot where you could really mess this up. After that, everything is done inside the app. It will even help you pick the locations for the Eero and gives you tips and tricks of, to keep it away from other electronic devices and such. So once you figure out where it is, it will test the signal and it will actually tell you to move it if you have to. So it makes it super easy to get it set up. It'll take you about 10 minutes. You do not have to be a techie to do this install. And I think right away, it was something I really appreciate because I've been setting up systems since like the early 2000s. And trust me, it was never this easy. So I'm really happy to see that they've made that really easy to do on the Eero app. Now, one thing I noticed during the setup is that it could recognize all my Alexa-enabled devices, all my smart home devices, and that's because it has a built-in Zigbee radio. So you don't need um, basically another hub for all of these devices. It's actually built into it, and I think that was one of my favorite features. So if you're somebody that has a lot of um, you know Alexa-enabled devices, like the Echo speakers and whatnot, you're going to appreciate this system because it works seamlessly. And it's something that I noticed right away inside the app. And I think a lot of people are going to appreciate that because it doesn't make it. It just makes the whole setup so much easy for your smart home products. Now, at some point in time, you're going to have to choose between the Eero 6 or the Eero Pro 6. And if it was me, I would immediately go and spend the extra money for the Eero Pro 6. And here's why. You'll notice when you look at the specs that they're different download speeds. With the Eero 6, you're going to get about 500 megabits per second and 5,000 square foot of coverage. With the Eero 6 or the Eero Pro 6, you'll be getting about 900 megabits per second and 6,000 square feet. So almost a gigabit speeds. Uh, by making that upgrade. So if you have an internet plan where you're getting gigabit speeds, then you definitely should make this uh, investment in the Eero Pro 6. Um, but if you had a smaller home, you know, I think the Eero 6 would work. The, the whole install is super easy. It's user-friendly with the app. You can see everything. It has protection and monitoring. You don't have to be a tech wizard to use that app and understand your wireless network at home. And you can really get you know personalized with your wireless network and, and devices and what you want certain things to see, parental controls and, and what have you. So for the average home out there, if you have a lot of Alexa-enabled devices, I would probably recommend either one of these systems depending on the size of your home. 
But if you are truly trying to build a smart home like I'm doing, you know, making that investment in something like the Eero Pro 6 makes a lot of sense. But, you know, because it's Wi-Fi 6 and it just came out, it's going to be expensive. So you have to really look at it as an investment because you're really future-proofing your home with a nice wireless network. And, you know, we're going to be talking about dead spots like, um, you know, in the future, like, what were they? Because they're, they're pretty much gone with these mesh systems. So it's something that I've always liked. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Eero 6 and the Eero Pro 6. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. You can get more information about me on my website, handyandymedia.com. Once again, it's Andy Barrar signing off. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.